Hello, Gemini. Welcome back to Fifi's Tart Readings. I hope you're all doing amazing. For those that are new to my channel, a very, very warm welcome. Cross watchers, you are definitely welcomed here as well. And for those returning, welcome back. Thank you for joining me. Everyone, absolutely everyone is welcomed here um, at Fifi's Tarot Readings. So Gemini, let's get straight into it. Let's do this. Let me clear the deck for you. And let's just get straight into it. I do want to get into the nitty and gritty, straight to the point. Um, with anything that is hidden that perhaps you should know about. So as the title suggests, you know, secrets revealed, everything that you should know. Um, I'm just going to get straight into it. I'm going to dive in. Um, Gemini, for your highest good for the next few weeks. Let's do this. As a reminder, only take what resonates and apply it to your personal and unique situation. And whatever does not resonate, just toss it to the side. Um, Gemini, you definitely do not need it. Let's see. So in regards to your person, specific person in mind, whether you are um, in connection or not, even if it feels like, yes, this is a permanent breakup um, or you're on a break or you're just really unsure or something's not adding up. Maybe there's lack of closure, for example, you didn't get any answers here, um, which can be a challenge to move on, but not impossible. Um, I will be exploring all of this for you, Gemini. So I've got a good shuffle here for you. And as usual, Gemini, if you do resonate with this reading and it speaks volumes to you, um, there will be an optional extended reading. And the, your, the link to your extended reading is in the description box below. It is the first link underneath all the yellow stars. It is available to rent, to purchase. You can download it to your phone, to your computer. Um, you can pretty much do whatever you want with it, Gemini. It is yours for life. And that will be an extension of this reading. And the purpose of your extended Gemini is that I will be focusing 100% from your person's perspective. That way we get two sides um, of the story and we dive a lot deeper into your person's true thoughts, feelings, desires, wishes, fears, anything else that perhaps if they are hiding anything from you. Here we go, Gemini. Let's jump straight in. Bottom of your deck. Ooh, beautiful. You've started off with the Ten of Cups. Pisces energy doesn't have to be can be literally anyone this is my happily ever after card to reach this point Gemini may have been a roller coaster of emotions for you but you're there and it's guaranteed that it's going to be yours this is definitely my happily ever after card it is most emotional contentment this is domestic bliss here and um, for some of you this definitely is a strong indication of reconciliation with your person as well we also got children here, emotional health, blended family, all of it. So it's beautiful. Yeah, something's going to happen. We have here the Knight of Pentacles, very strong Virgo energy, but could be a Taurus and a fellow Capricorn. Um, this is indeed the slowest moving night, but Gemini, this is the most reliable night now. So whatever your person did here in the past, they're coming back very reliable. This is not impulsive at all or a spur of a moment decision. They've really thought about what to say to you, what to offer you, because um, you know we have the knight there that's holding that ace of pentacles. It's got to be something of value, something that is going to grab your attention, not once, but you're going to look twice now. And the changes here that they want to make, because the knights are all about messages and certain changes here. This is looking really good after heartbreak, see? We have the Three of Swords. This is very strong Libra energy. And this is the only card, in fact, pretty much with all the decks, well, the majority of the decks, there is no one here because the damage has already been done. The Three of Swords shows heartbreak. Third party situation for some of you, it is infidelity, or this just couldn't have been a meddling family member, friend, or coworker. Either way, everyone's heart was broken here. Now, this definitely shows to me why it's taken your person such a long time to come back. This really shows a passage of time for some of you of definitely more, way more than a year or even beyond that. Yeah, see? Five of Swords, Aquarius energy. So towards the end, Gemini, I think we can all pretty much agree that this is one-sided, uh, where your person was all about me, 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 me. And what about Gemini? They weren't even thinking about Gemini. Whether on purpose or not, we will get definitely get down to the nitty and gritty, but your person knew exactly what they were doing. They knew about you. They knew about the third party and what was happening here. Um, are they regretting it now? Yes, because the fives are all about changes, challenges, transitions, but also about regret here. Perhaps you were being breadcrumbed um, or it was very one-sided or there were empty promises here and it just led to nothing. Yeah, see, we also have the page of wands. Some, someone's trying to find a creative way to reach out to you. But you've got the second fastest energy in the tech, in the deck, not tech, 
the Eight of Wands, Sagittarius energy, you may have received very bad news from this person towards the end. What, what you perceive as very bad news, such as I can't be with you anymore, um, or here's news about this third party. Um, I kind of feel that it's almost like a lot of you felt this person was misleading you as well. But definitely we are getting some messages from your person. Cupid's arrow. Some of you may also be in a long distance connection. Either way, all the arrows, all the messages are pointing to you, Gemini. Let's get straight into a reading. That was a lot to digest there. Yeah, I also just got here that you really truly believe this was your happily ever after. Something's happening here, but let's see where this is going. The head of your reading is the Six of Pentacles, Taurus energy. So sixes are all about healing. This particular one is talking, um, particular, you know, Six of Pentacles is peace, balance and harmony. Um, it needs to be restored here. Should this, you know, if your person really wants to salvage this, which I'm, I'm finding very interesting, why are they messaging you now? Why would they be reaching out um, to you? This can also show separation and divorce where money has been or is already still being, you know, um, fairly distributed for like spousal support, child support here as well. It seems also that your person in the past was actually giving too much attention to someone or some, something else in the past, which led to this imbalance, which is why we have that three of swords here. Um, but this is also the card of gifts and generosity. So with this message, do not be surprised if you receive something quite sentimental from this person. The three of wands, Aries energy. Considered very lucky to get this um, along with the world card here as well. So both of them, doesn't matter which one you get. Three of Wands, it seems here that your person is waiting, they're procrastinating, they're delaying of coming forward. Now, out of experience of probably more than like, what, 25 years now of doing tarot, I've realized, and I say this a lot, but I will definitely um, repeat myself again for those that are new to my channel. Um, the longer someone takes to come back, it's because they're feeling very guilty about something. They know they have done something wrong. But here, they are, they are actively procrastinating they're delaying coming forward it's like they're waiting for the right time um maybe to build up their confidence or self-esteem maybe they're watching you online it's like okay looks like gemini's in a good place i'll reach out now but certainly they are waiting for you know the neon sign or the ship to come in absolutely that's why they're taking so long see the ten of swords that is your energy gemini that is ruled by gemini some of you could be dealing with a fellow gemini this sounds very dramatic, I know, but it was very dramatic when it happened. You see, a lot of you are still feeling quite betrayed and quite cheated by this person. Now, this is the thing. Your person always knew what they were going to do. In fact, they probably knew they were going to end this because of this third party. Things just got a little bit messy, and I think they didn't know how to handle it in the end. It was either you or this third party. Could have been because of a separation or divorce. Um, and usually this happens if your person's actually getting bullied also by this third party or being threatened. Either way, you're still feeling very betrayed by this person. I feel here that they ended it and they just did a runner. And you probably never heard from them ever again. The King of Cups is very strong Scorpio energy, but could be a Pisces and a Cancer. So this is where it gets interesting because clearly the King of Cups is one that is holding that cup because they still have love, admiration and feelings. There's a lot of affection for you, which is kind of confusing because this is their feelings but this was their action it's like it, it's not matching up here at all i definitely feeling here that something happened with this third party behind your back they may have even gotten some ill advice from a friend saying are you sure you want to be with gemini you're not in the right place right now something along those lines either way we have here the um the king of cups male or female does not matter they do want to offer you that cup the feelings are there in fact they've always seen you as the ten of cups the happily ever after They'll be expressing this though. They may have trouble expressing that in the past though. So in the beating heart of your reading, this card will affect all the other cards around because I do read them diagonally, you know, horizontal and all that. Um, and this can also represent mutual energies. What do we have? Yep, the star, the need to heal this, ruled by Aquarius. It's a very powerful card. A major arcana there for showing that personal wishes are going to be granted, Gemini. So even if you want reconciliation with this person or do you want to at least get some closure, some answers, the chance to hear, I'm sorry, Gemini, for what I've done or any other personal reason, it is going to happen. Absolutely. Um, and this is all about healing. It's washing away all this hurt and all that feelings of betrayal and just being cheated by them, especially towards the end of how they acted, how they conducted themselves here, for example. Um, so it is about hope, faith and renewal here. It's also the card of destiny. So there is a reason why this person is coming back around though. There could be definitely unfinished business here. 
What else do we have that needs to be done? Is Temperance my favorite card for healing, ruled by Sagittarius? Yep. This is all about having patience for you, Gemini. They need to have patience for you. I think they're seeing that now. This is a really good positive line right here. Yep. And healing after this betrayal. And I feel here also that it's almost like this is like the opposite of the devil, where the devil is too much of something. It's the extremes, and I want it now. No, to have your trust, love, and respect back, your person will need to be patient with you. Take it one day at a time and come baggage free. So no third party, um, no need here to put you in any messy situation again. Um, so this is all about, you know, to salvage this, they do need peace, balance, and harmony, just like that six of pentacles. But in the meanwhile, you are being represented as the nine of wands. It's more Sagittarius energy. Doesn't have to be, it can be any star sign. So I think what they're seeing here now is that they're fixing their life, that's all done. But when they view you here, Gemini, that you're quite guarded at the moment, that you're probably still feeling very defeated. They're probably picking up on that, very deflated by this. Your guard is up, your walls are very high up, I and mean, you're very discerning here with your boundaries, who you will allow back into your circle, back into your energy here. But I think there is a part of you, Gemini, that is still not giving up on this person, even though it's probably so small, like this little dot, I don't know if you can see it, this little dot here, even if it's that small or even smaller, there's a part of you saying, now's not the time to give up. I may regret this. I need my answers or at least to have some clarity about what's happened. So when this person does reach out to you, what do they secretly want with you in the near future? This is it. We're getting all secrets revealed here. What do they want? Wow. They want a brand new start. Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy. Ooh, so from the night which we have here. They were holding that Ace of Pentacles, it's right here. They wanna offer you something this time that is solid like this table, that is valuable. We've got here security, stability, commitment slash marriage that is possible in the future. This is having a brand new start. And here you are thinking, this is probably a bit too good to be true. What's the catch, for example? Now we'll be clarifying um, these cards here for you. What do we have in the outcome? Because clearly we know what your person wants, what they're planning, but what about you? Yep, Seven of Pentacles, Taurus Energy. This is the wait and see card. I think you'll be chewing on the idea. Do I want to invest in this? Maybe with patience here on your side here, um, you know, to trust this person once again, to feel vulnerable with this person once again. Um, I do see you wishing to invest in this, even if you just want to be friends. Um, let's see. That is planting the seed here. Clearly, I know what your person wants. On your side, you're perhaps just... A little bit apprehensive here just questioning everything overthinking everything which is probably in this instance not a bad thing after what they did you know it doesn't get any worse than the three and the ten of swords here Gemini please and their person anything else that Gemini should know for their highest good please two more last one All right, what do we have at the bottom of the deck? You've got the Eight of Wands twice now. As you can see, Eight of Fire is the Eight of Wands. You got it twice. So when we start getting repeat cards, those repeat energies, it does show to me as a reader that perhaps you are both mirroring each other to some degree, not 100% unless I see the Two of Cups. Mm. Yep, I see you responding to this person. And this is double confirmation here. Um, it's solidifying the message that they are going to be reaching out. In fact, I just heard the word left field, so it's pretty much going to be like a mini tower moment you're just not going to see it coming though see we've got here the the fire kitten in this deck this is the page of wands and you got the page of wands if you remember in um the modern witch tarot it's like they're trying to find creative ways to reach you perhaps they're finding it difficult you know either they're blocked here or maybe you've deleted them and or they've missed your number they're trying to find creative ways ways to reach you we've got that five of swords again and I think this is why they're holding back so much is because they know here that they've done the dirty here, that they handled this the absolute worst way ever. Um, I think they were doing a very good job of taking and taking and taking from you. All in the meanwhile, they knew that perhaps they were going to end this down the road. They probably just didn't have, you know, the, you could say the guts or they didn't have the confidence here um, to actually face you. They were probably scared of telling you the truth here. But this was just getting out of hand. You were getting more invested um, and they knew I'm just going to end this eventually. 
As a result, we have the Nine of Earth, which is the Nine of Wands, Virgo Energy. This is my singles card. I do feel here now that both of you may be 100% single. Gemini, but I see, see you focusing a lot here on your career, your studies, your finances, that coin expansion. You know, you may have that million dollar idea, as I say, with that Nine of Pentacles. Um, so do not be surprised if your person does reach out to you during a time when you're really just heavily invested in other areas of your life. See the Four of Swords, that is Libra energy. Your person's gathering their thoughts here. And in the Moon card, Pisces, Cancer energy. Yeah, this can definitely happen within the next full moon, but emotions are still running very high for one another. Um, and yes, this does talk about our internal fears and anxieties about this situation. It's like they're coming back now. What if they're hiding something? Yes, they are. This is about secrets. It is about mystery, keeping things to oneself. They're keeping their emotions here to, um, to themselves about you. I don't think they've actually mentioned this probably to anyone, but there is a secret desire here to reach out to you. And I think they're planning this with that Four of Swords. Mm -hmm. I think that's the one thing that bothers you is that you're in the dark about a lot of things. Um, towards the end, you're probably the last person to find out, for example, even if you don't know that, you kind of feel that everyone knew that your person was going to end it versus except for you. Mm. But this is a kind of intuition. When your person does reach out, because we've got the eight of wands twice, it is going to happen. What your intuition instantly is going to be telling you either this is a green light or this is a red light. This is shifty, for example. But let's get some more clarity. That six of pentacles is clarified here by you. Yep, that is the sky queen, the queen of swords. Male or female does not matter. There you are. That is you right there. Um, and you are the master of communication here. For some of you, this can indicate either you or your person um, are already separated and divorced as well. And yes, you're, you're, you know, your person may be viewing you as a little bit cold, not in a bad way. It's like hard to reach. Gemini is hard to reach right now um, because I know that probably Gemini hates me, you know, all from their perspective, for example. Um, there is a lot that you need to get off your chest, though, because something unfair and unjust happened to you. It is very clear that I think that you're going to feel a lot better once you voice everything that's you're holding inside your chest. It's like a weight lifted off your shoulders here as well. Certainly, they do want to communicate with you. The Three of Wands is clarified by the Fire Queen. Queen of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries. OK, so yeah, I'm, I am seeing two queens here. Mm. Sometimes the Queen of Wands, and this is not always because it's not fair to say that for the Queen of Wands, but sometimes the Queen of Wands can create a lot of drama and arguments. Um, just sometimes even for the sake of it, could even be because there was jealousy here between you two. Um, yeah, I think this Queen of Wands, whoever he or she is, knew about you as well. Um, yeah, I would just be mindful because I, I'm kind of thinking here that, yeah, your person ended it perhaps or is not talking anymore or is less detached from this Queen of Wands. Um, I'm interested to know, is this Queen of Wands still hanging around in the shadows, though? Let's see. The Ten of Swords is clarified by the Knight of Wands. So more Leo, Aries and Sag energy, the fire time, Knight of Wands. So this actually really shows perhaps your person was trying to bounce between you and this person. You know, they, they were trying to keep you and the other person happy, for example. That's that juggling act, not to stir the pot or create unnecessary waves here. That wasn't working, though. If anything, you're kind of seeing your person right now as still unreliable, um, as in and out, a bit wishy-washy. You know, this person thinks they can just waltz in and out of your life. And no, I think yeah, you're going to give him a piece of your mind that you, you cannot do that. Absolutely not. Either they're here to stay or don't come back at all. So the King of Cups is clarified by the Ten of Swords. There we go. That's you. That's Gemini energy. Clearly, it seems like your person was the one that ended this, that they were the ones that um, kind of just did an abrupt ending. It seemed very cold here. I'm seeing that they did not fight for you. Not at all. Um, they never came back. And if they did, you're like, what was the point of that? Why did they come back? Um, but I'm seeing here also your person may be going through their own separation or the, the divorce or their own type of ending here, which is quite painful. Um, so yeah, I think you, this has already happened though, but I feel there's a lot still with the moon that you don't know about yet, like how they've moved on. What's happened with this third party here, for example, where are they at now in their life? Let's talk about the star is the priest. So this is the Hierophant ruled by Taurus. So yeah, this is my commitment card. It is my marriage card. It is your person coming back to do things right, perhaps in a traditional way. They just want to do right by you. So the whole, you know, wish fulfillment of having commitment once again is very strong in the cards here, especially for you wishing to invest in this once more. Temperance is clarified here by the Five of Cups. Scorpio energy. 
Yeah. I think your person now is regretting this majorly because they are being represented by the Five of Cups and the Five of Swords that we saw twice now. This is about being very disappointed. In fact, your person, I have to be honest, they're pretty disappointed in themselves. And I'll give them that. At least they're actually seeing the error of their ways. They could be also be over drinking here or doing something to fill in that void that you're not there. This is just emotional disappointment here, feeling embarrassed, guilty and ashamed. They know that's how you feel about them, but it's magnified like 10 times more. Yep. Also regret here that they knew they were being very inconsistent. The Nine of Wands is clarified by the Nine of Swords. That is your energy again, Gemini energy. A lot of you may be actually blaming yourself for this and definitely... I know it's easy for me to hear, sit here and say it, but you need to stop doing that. Especially if you think I wasn't good enough, I wasn't attractive enough, I wasn't pretty enough, smart, whatever it was here. Um, no, that's just more ego shouting here. Um, but yeah, it's not worth losing sleep over this person. I know it's easy for me to hear it and say it, but you know we've got two nines here and that is your energy right there. I <clears throat> Sorry, my voice just broke. And it's almost like a lot of you may be regretting actually meeting this person, um, wasting time with this person, giving your heart to this person. It's like, if only I wasn't so open with this person and look what I got, I got the raw end of the deal here. What I do like is that your person here is in major regret over how they treated you. In fact, I see that they are the ones losing sleep over this. This card is often linked here to anxiety, nervous energy, depression, um, and just feeling quite lonely at night and having trouble falling asleep, staying asleep here as well. Mm. So definitely the cards are saying, do not blame yourself here, Gemini. You've done nothing wrong. In fact, I think your person is getting a lot more worked up um, about this connection instead of you though. So the Ace of Pentacles is clarified by the fastest knight, that is you. Um, that is the Knight of Swords. There you go, Gemini energy. Could it be a, Gemini, uh, um, a Libra or an Aquarius? But this is literally your person, you know, getting up on their high horse, on the motorbike. They cannot get to you fast enough here because messages and changes about what? It's like they're desperate. They want to tell you, listen, I want a brand new start with you. I want to commit to only you. If you will give me that chance, even after all this time, um, just give me that chance. Just one chance here. There's a lot of communication that needs to happen before they give you that Ace of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles is ruled by, in the outcome, the Six of Cups, Scorpio energy. This is reconciliation right here. It is meeting in the middle, finally, with this person and actually thinking, you know what? Is the juice worth a squeeze? Do I actually really want to invest in this person? Um, I think some of you actually will. Slowly, though, in due time, because that's temperance is saying take it slow. It's so you get that inner confidence to say, okay, I'm sure about saying yes or sure about saying no um, and anything in between. So I'm, I'm thinking here that both of you still are feeling quite nostalgic about each other. You may catch yourself thinking about your person, the good times, and also how things ended as well. It doesn't feel good, doesn't it? Um, there may be children involved here. Perhaps you have children or your person has their own children. doesn't matter what age. There could be adult children still. Um, we've got a past life connection here as well, which is probably why your person keeps thinking about you, why they keep coming back, why you're still thinking about them. This is definitely reconciliation here. This is actually a pretty powerful reading though. Your person still, you know, you're still in the dark about a lot of things here, especially how often they think about you, um, how much they regret their actions, how much they want to be with you again, how they want to give you that cup of love. But what's the big barrier here is that 10 of swords, what they did to you. So this is very interesting. And this with these two eight of wands, all these incoming messages, this is what I'll be focusing on. Your optional extended reading is all of these incoming communications here with you. So Gemini, as a reminder, this is going to be so interesting seeing your person's point of view about you in your extended reading. It is in the description box below, Gemini. It is the first link underneath all the yellow stars. And let's get straight into it. Let's see your person's side and how they think about you. I'll see you there. But if this is where we depart, Gemini, I wish you the very, very best. And I thank you for joining me. I'll see in the next couple of days. Take care. Bye.